right, we have the... What should we call it? The Misbegotten Crucible Duo. And then we had Rikard after that, which is going to be a, a pleasant, as pleasant an experience as always. As it always is. Me just trying to pray for a hit on the snake. On half my hits, half my attacks. We're going to have to put on some armor. we got to change the build around, because, like, I can't wear two of the talismans I have. Three, actually. The ranged knight and weird lizard. It's like a lion lizard thing. It's... I don't know. Oops. This is going well. Oh yeah, Quick Step was actually like super good on the Crucible Knight. I forgot about that. Because you can get around the shield so easily. Oh, when he like doesn't attack anyway. Or not. Oh, you don't even need you to strafe that. I jumped! Game, give me my jump. Ugh, dude. Hitbox is too big. Temple, 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 here. All right, I'm going to say f at least 15 minutes for this fight. I'll worry about armor, I think, when we get there. We'll figure out what we're going to do. It's probably going to be the Crucible Knight set. I always do the Crucible Knight set for this fight. Because I kind of have to go out of my way for anything better. That you just get from... I think it's Ordovis, oddly enough. Can't be worse than the Celebrant Sickle? It cannot. Better not be. We had uh, no bleed on that one. Kick his butt in the second try. I will do it first try. Hopefully. Because I do not want to have to do it again. <laughs> this is not a fight you want to do more than one try on. Unless you're using the Serpent Hunter. Yeah, the Crucible set's pretty good. I think it's got the highest poise of anything. Uh, that drops from a boss... But yeah, the bleed will come in clutch every, you know, two minutes. Can't wait to farm that dude for that staff. Where exactly is this place? Like, it's under the ground, right? It's probably, like, super far underground, I imagine. Oh, I can't. Yeah, I don't have the map. Couldn't tell you. All right, I can take that off. I forgot I had that on. Probably actually hurt my damage, if anything. I've had that on since Ordina, so it's been a while. Okay, we want this. Um, I guess we'll do Flame Drake. 
These are going to be useless. Like, I don't, I don't even know what to do for a fourth talisman here. Can't do two of these, right? Yeah. That'd be, that'd be funny. Oh, yeah, that. I want that. Definitely that. This is the one fight. Every time I roll fire or flame art, I'm like, I do not want to do this fight. Luckily, we have bleed. Because if we didn't, this would really suck. It's going to suck no matter what, but... This is the easy part, too. Guys, see any bleeds yet? I don't think. Oh, there's one. When Reichardt spawns, I don't know if his bleed resistance resets or not. It's part of it. Whatever this is, looks like a, some weird tongue-looking thing. It's, am I crazy? It's not a tongue, but it looks like one. I think it's just random entrails. Okay, maybe I should heal. It'd be nice if it resets. That means we get a quicker bleed. I missed the randomizer where this lava doesn't do damage. Where'd the lava go? It's gone. Oh, there it is. He just decided he didn't want to do it anymore. I'm not taking damage from it either. I don't know what's going on, man. is back. I think when he's backing up, like it's gonna go away in here for whatever reason. And another bleed. Alright. Do we have the icon shield? I thought I picked it up. I guess I didn't. Yeah, I think when he's close to the wall, he, like, I don't know, it probably, like, leaks under the arena or something. Because it's coming from, like, the center of him. I am I don't know. I'm just speculating. All right, now this is the real fun part. My card has so much more health. And just is so much harder to hit. And then of course you have the Rancor, which is just like invisible half the time. Because it's under the map. 
I can't even see it. And you just randomly take damage. And then like a second later, you see it come out of the ground and you're like, oh, okay. Forgot about this mechanic that I hated. Except I didn't forget about it. I'm well aware of it. But not much you can do when it's under the ground. You can't see it. I just gotta run. Yeah, I kind of wish I had the icon shield here. It's fine, though. Yeah, this part's probably gonna take a while. Unless we can get a bleed, I mean... I think we're gonna be out of luck. Once the snake comes out, though, we'll... It'll be better. Should be easier to get a bleed. I thought I grabbed the Icon Shield, but I guess I, I didn't. I think I was planning on it if Gaunts can do it. took longer than they did, and then I beat them, so... The annoying thing, I think, is going to be trying to heal with, um... The, uh, Swaddling Cloth, because I can't get any hits in. I have to be on his leg with this dagger, because it's not going to reach him in the front. Perfect. It's just, it's exactly what I want. Right here. Any leaves. My guard, stop. The only annoying thing about getting trapped in his leg, though, is when the Rancor comes through, then you're kind of gotta get hit. How much you can do. Just can't go anywhere. Rancor is here. Stop, Rancor. Can't hit him with a friend. No bleed for me. Please. No bleed. Yeah, that is a wall. That's not good. If I die, I'm probably going to go get the Icon Shield. This would be really nice to have for these running sections. Like, Bestial Vitality, something something along those lines. Probably uh, the Shield, though. Just easier, I think. Well, the Bestial, Bestial Vitality would be better. Plus, I have the Faith. Blessed do Talisman. I don't... I don't know what I would take off, though. Swaddling Cloth I need. Green Turtle Talisman is good. The Wing Sword Insignia, I think, is pretty solid for this fight, too. With this build, and then I can't remember what the other one was. Give me a bleed. There's a bleed. 10k, baby. What a number. It's almost snake time. Two HP. I mean, oh, that body's freaking out, man. Two HP, like, yeah, it's probably not worth it. It's good, I think, in conjunction with other L3 gen. But on its own, I think, you know, you're better off with either Best Heal Vitality or um, the Icon Shield. I guess the, the one advantage of the Talisman is it doesn't really weigh much compared to the Shield.
if I still got like two minutes, just based on how much health it's gonna take to get to 50% until <laughs> we get the snake. Unless we're lucky. I don't know. I can't tell. I can never tell where like 50% actually is. We're right there. I mean. There we go. Snake's out. Just don't push me against a wall, right card. It's all I ask. Yeah, are we going to the wall? You know, please. Another bleed, nice. So we end a stagger. Foster break, whatever. Last time. Run. Okay, maybe one more cycle, depending on how uh, quickly the next chaos phase comes. Uh oh. Ran out of stamina. Quite scared running out of stamina here. Because very quickly you can just get bombarded by skeletons. Another bleed, maybe. Seal it. was that like 15 minutes Ugh. rank easy <laughs> yeah he's really not that bad it's just it takes forever because he has so much health Especially so when you're uh, using a fire weapon. Your fire infused weapon. Right, back to naked and all the other stuff that I had on that. And then. What was the last one I had? Oh, Blue Dancer. Nope, that's not Blue Dancer. Cool.
So we got six bosses left, unless I'm forgetting something. In which case, we'll do it when the DLC comes out. Break a medium. Not even close. Wow, he's really being generous with that attack. I think I rolled early, but I think I outspaced it. I don't know. I feel like I'm early, but maybe I'm not. I knew the edge was like near, I just, I didn't know how close it was. <laughs> so, it's praying it wasn't on it. All right, Esker, I don't know how Esker's gonna be. I feel like that fight's gonna be annoying. And then Moog will be Lengthy just because it's he's a fire resistant boss and he's also bleed resistant and that's pretty much all I have going for me, so and then the final three we've already done, so not much left. I don't even know why I'm leveling anything at this point, like doesn't make a difference. Strength, whatever. Pretty much. I mean, like, I don't, I don't need the, uh, I don't need the stats. It's pretty much just because I can. I just, I feel wasteful if I don't use the runes, you know? Can't help that. Like, die and lose, like, half a million. Even though it's only, like, three levels, it's not even. It still feels bad.
it's crazy this is only the 25th Elden Ring run. It's going to take literally a decade to finish all these. And we still don't even have the DLC yet. We don't know how many more weapons there are going to be, how many more bosses there are going to be, because that's going to add a lot of time. Infinite content. At least two more weapons. Probably a fair assumption. And probably at least two more bosses. Even just that alone, like, I know we're kind of memeing, but, like, that alone adds, like, so much time. When you're talking 300 weapons. It's like an extra 30 hours. Okay, maybe, uh, yeah, no, probably, probably an extra 30 hours, depending on the weapons, I guess. Would you put money on there being an Elden Ring 2 as the next game versus another Dark Souls something? Even uh, like Sekiro was? I'd say something new. Because the, the thing with Elden Ring is it's such a big game that if they were going to need to do, like, they have Armored Core, obviously, but like, you're talking like another six years, probably, if they were going to do Elden Ring 2. Five or six years, I'd say. So they probably will do something else in between after Armored Core. And after the DLC. Uh, let's go do Esker first, actually. But I know Miyazaki has said he doesn't want to do more Dark Souls. Like, you know, there will be like Souls like combat, I'm sure, but because this pretty much is that. But he doesn't want to do like another entry in the Soul in the Dark Souls games. He said he's not opposed to someone else doing it, but I, I mean, then you're talking about like outsourcing the IP to someone else, which really at that point, I guess, is Bandai's call. I. Or is that a one? It's probably an I. Cyber futuristic setting, yeah. Well, that's got that's armored core is like that. Armored core is basically a mech game. In, like, a post-apocalyptic world. Where am I going? The thing is, Armored Core is not Souls. Which... I feel like, uh, can't be stated enough, because everyone is going to compare it to Souls, and as soon as it comes out, it's going to be like, man, this is this Souls game sucks. Because that's kind of what they're known for now, it's just Souls. But, you know, it's Armored Core 6, they've had five Armored Cores before this game, plus, like, a bunch of spin-offs and stuff, too, I think. Like, that was probably... I don't know if that was their biggest game before Souls franchise. But it might have been. But they, have, they just haven't done one in, like, a decade, so... In fact, I don't, I don't remember when the last one came out. It might have been before Demon Souls. It was either before Demon Souls or Dark Souls 1. I can't remember. I'd have to look it up. Dogs, please. Okay. 
The flies! Demon Souls 2, yeah. I feel like that was kind of Dark Souls, right? Obviously it wasn't, but it was the spiritual successor. And the only reason they couldn't do it is because, or they didn't do it, it's because it was a Sony exclusive. It's only on the rights. And they, even at the time, like, they weren't super fond of the game, you know? It kind of took a while for it to catch on, I think. Because I think the director of Sony or something said he played it and hated the game. I just got comboed, man. I could not move. The, the daggers, this guy, the Sanguine Noble in the snowfield. Like, you just get comboed and you can't move. And then you bleed. You get hit five times, bleed, and die. This darn lack of poise. Yeah, exactly. It was like no one, no one back then knew what would happen with the franchise, right? It was just like a game that was difficult that didn't explain anything, and like it was just so, you know, people just didn't make games like that. Can't move. This is fun. Instant bleed bar buildup. It's getting staggered repeatedly by the flies. I literally don't have a second to like do anything. Naskers, this is not a good boss. But I don't think any of the NPC fights are good, like, ever. Interesting, maybe? Good? No. the Souls games get popular. I think just like word of mouth eventually just kind of kept reaching more and more people. People enjoyed the combat, enjoyed the, the difficulty, overcoming the difficulty mainly. RPG elements, PvP, like there's a lot of a lot of things going on. How do you like it? Does it feel good? Does it feel good? I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place. It's literally exactly what he did to me. <laughs> Problem is, I don't have nearly as much health as him, so... One combo kills me. I couldn't kill him with a combo if he was at full health, but... Luckily, he was low enough where I could. Very curious to see what this damage is like. Well, what were we dealing on the other mode? Like 140? It'll probably be a little better, maybe? But, you know, no bleed. And then just the final three, and that should be it. I don't think I'm missing anything.
Okay, 158's not bad. 187 on an R1. What did I do for Gideon? I think I did running R2s. It always feels bad when you heal and then immediately get hit. Ow, holy crap. Stamina, please. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. I wasn't expecting a stagger. Sweet. All right. Final three. And then we uh, are done with the Wakazashi. Probably won't have a dagger for a while. Unless, you know, there's a request for one. Mini Moog out. You're dead. I'm out. As in leaving. We're going to Gideon. A running R2 stab. Okay, I'm gonna try that. Ah, I knew you'd come to stand before the Elden Ring to become Elden Lord. What a sad to chase him down with uh, running R2s. Shall take the throne. I can't do that one, unfortunately. And I can't go in on this because there's just rot everywhere. No. 
All right, how'd that miss? Oh, the bleed. He didn't heal. Sick. I was convinced he would heal, and then I saw him go for the uh, blood boon. Does the stun lock feel good, Ian? You like that. You like that. Any Kirk Cousins fans? I think we did a Hitless Gideon too in uh, New Game. I did not get hit by Gideon on either kill. I think I got killed by him though in, in New Game. Until I figured out the uh, running R2 strat. I never noticed you can actually see the entrance to the uh, Ur tree from right there. Like, I never actually looked. I just figured there was a fog gate there. Too close. Don't hit me. Oh, this is a little bit close. Oh, yeah, he did the weirdest thing. I think it was New Game on this run. Where, like, he did the roar and then he did another attack and then he did the slam that he normally does after the roar, but I'd never seen him do it like that late. It's really weird. Never seen it. That's me. And we got a, like a 20 year Elden Beast skill coming up. Gotta pump as much physical damage as I can here. Oh, one more. One more AR, baby. Did it re really feel weird doing DLC and then coming and doing Radagon and Elden Beast? Because it probably won't be nearly as hard as the DLC. Never is, right? Just based on history, I should say. I guess I don't really know. I still don't really know what they're gonna, like, how are they gonna top Melania? They're just gonna make bosses one-shot you. I'm not playing this very well. Heal, please. I hit the button. Means heal.
720? It's not that bad. Problem is, he's just gonna run around forever, though. It's fine damage if you can, like, stand near him. Actually, that wasn't really that bad. <laughs> That was like a third of his health in like 20 seconds, 30 seconds. What? Really? I didn't think I was in that. Dead here. Okay. Should be okay. That was a little hairy. I'm not gonna lie. This is kind of not great either. Ringing? What are you doing? Nope, I am. Now you're ringing, probably. No? Now you're ringing. No? Still no, huh? It's gonna do it now while I'm right next to it. And now it's doing it. No, okay? Or not? Now? Eldemis. Make up your mind. Take that. Wakazashi. Done. Till DLC.